What's up guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we are gonna be doing a complete walk around of my 2019 Subaru Crosstrek. Now, if you've been following me for a while, I know this is a video that you guys have been wanting for a, such a long time. I finally got around to doing it. So without further ado, let's hop into it. All right guys, so start off the mod list. We're gonna start from top to bottom exterior all the way to interior and to under the hood now i got my phone here so i'll just be reading off this all the mods that i have and all the price tags to keep you guys in the loop and then we're going to calculate it all how much i have spent on my cross track today to this very day so starting up at the very top my basket it's a thule canyon xt it was about 370. now we also have some open road traction boards those are about 65 bucks i got them from amazon this right here is my yakima high road bike rack it was 250. my whole setup is sitting on the malone 58 inch crossbars this was also from amazon they were 135 bucks my light bar is auto 4d it's a 42 inch curve light bar it's a custom RGB color changer light bar. I'm probably gonna change it out, but that's what I got right now. This ran me 230. All right, so moving to the back of the vehicle, we have my Patriot Edition high lift jack. This was 142 bucks. I know it's not Patriot Edition anymore. I spray painted it black. We also have my rear spoiler I got from eBay, deep, deep in the depths of eBay. This ran me 180 bucks. Next, we have the Cobb Rear Wiper Delete. This was like 25 bucks. Now, apparently the base model Crosstracks didn't come with uh, the plastic guard that goes right here. So I just ordered it from Amazon. That was 70 bucks. Next, we have the Premium Auto Styling Smoke Honeycomb Kits. This was 17 bucks. I do have the Premium Auto Styling Third Brake Light Overlay. That was 10 bucks. Now, moving on to the gas cap, we have the Premium Auto Styling Carbon Fiber gas cap overlay and that ran me about 15 bucks down here i have a purin tow hook is it purin i think it's purin purin tow hook and that ran me about 90 bucks next up we have the rally armor black edition mud flaps these were 170 bucks i do have some rain guards those were 40 dollars i have the extreme dimensions window louvers they're not cut out obviously they're fake but just some cool aesthetic those ran me 150 bucks. Also, I forgot to mention on the back, I do have some smoked reflectors from Premium Auto Styling. That also ran me 17 bucks. So moving to the front, we do have some window louvers. They fit a 2015 plus WRX, but they fit our cross tracks as well. That was 20 bucks, got those from Amazon. Down here, forgot to mention before I move the camera, I have the Rally Innovation rocker panel guards. Those were 320 bucks. Right here, we have the ASE Fab Ditch Mount Bracket. That was 75 bucks. My ditch lights, I have Nikoko RGB pods. Those are 75 bucks. They're color changers. I got color changers just to match the top light bar. Now I get a lot of questions about my, my bumper guard. It's the Rally Innovations push guard and it was 300 bucks. Down here in the fog lights, upgraded to the Dio Dynamics SS3 pods. Those were 200 bucks. I do have a 20 inch light bar right here. That was 50 bucks, that just came from Amazon. I do have a Grim Speed license plate relocation kit. That was 80 bucks. Now moving to the grill. I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions about my grill. I got it, I found it deep in the depths of eBay and it ran me about 250 bucks. It was custom made. I think there were only two that the seller was selling. I happened to just grab one of them. Um, so that one may or you got to get lucky with this one. This one was extremely rare. I just came across it. I had to snag it as soon as I saw it because I love the way it looks. Moving on to my headlights, I have the Circuit Demon Retrofit Kit, which in total put me around 500 bucks for the kit itself. I actually retrofitted these headlights myself and I have a full video on that if you guys are interested in it. It's just on my page. Just go check that out. Really cool video. I do a really in-depth install of these entire headlights. So if you want to follow them step by step, you want to do this yourself. I do have the Hellahorn kit from Subi Mods that ran me 120 bucks. A black hood wrap that one of my buddies did for me that ran me about 100 bucks. I do have a rock light kit also in my wheel wells that ran me 50 bucks. That was from Amazon also. Now let's talk about the main setup. I get questions about this all the time. I am running 15 by 7 KMC bullies. They ran me about 170 ish and they are wrapped in 235 75 r15 bfg all terrains great tires i love them so much next we have the iron man 4x4 i'm sitting on a, their two inch suspension lift kit that ran me about 1300 underneath i have the primitive 
front skid plate that ran me about 290 bucks in the back we have the crawford performance lower control arms those ran me about 675 and also in the back we have the crawford performance rear diff plate it's not installed it's in my garage but that's going on after this video also underneath we have the rally sport automotive unequal length headers and cat pipe which ran me about 1400 and I also have the AFE cat back exhaust system, which ran me 675. Now moving inside guys, I don't have too much as far as interior wise. To start, we have the pedal commander that was 280 bucks. I have some weather tech floor mats that ran me 230. I have an STI shift knob, which was hundred bucks. I have a carbon fiber e-brake, which was 45. And the little knob that came with it was an extra 10 bucks. I do have some climate control knobs in here they're blue those those were 15 bucks from amazon my only problem with them is they don't have a little line to indicate where they're showing so i just kind of sharpied i kind of just drew a little sharpie to indicate where it is it looks so cheap but it is what it is 15 bucks we also have full led interior light bulb kit and that was 10 bucks and my last mod for inside the car i have a full surround system pioneer door speakers I have a 12 inch kicker subwoofer and a rock for Fosgate amp and total that was about 1200 bucks for that. All right guys, so moving underneath the hood, we have the SSD tower, strut tower brace that ran me $189. I have the SSD engine cover, which I don't think they make anymore because I'm not seeing it on their website anymore, but that ran me 60 bucks. I have the AFE cold air intake and that ran me 375. And I also have the Crawford performance manifold spacers that ran me 270. All right, guys, so that's the full complete mod list of my 2019 Subaru Crosstrek. If I did my math right, it came out to $12,823. So we'll round it to about $13,000. That'll make it simple. So $13,000 I have dumped in this 2019 Subaru Crosstrek. <laughs> yeah, crazy, I know. But, you know, when you find a passion, you love to do it. It's not about the money, it's about what it makes you feel. And it makes me feel good to look at my car every single day and I'm just happy the way it looks. And I'm not even done yet. I have so much more planned for this car. So stick with me through this journey. So with that said guys, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. And lastly, before... Well, God damn, what you doing over there, boy? All right, he's done. And I'm gonna leave you guys off with... The... Knock it off. You're making too much noise over there. Thank you. Same time, hooked to the nicotine, music in the smoke.